HE-162C and D, swept wing. Progressive development of the basic HE-162 design led to the HE-162C, which, utilizing the Heinkel Hearth 011A turbojet, had wings swept 38 degrees at the leading edge and a V-type butterfly tail. The new wing featured a coarse anhedral angle from approximately two-thirds span the overall span being 26 feet 3 inches, and the gross area 133.47 square feet. At a normal loaded weight of 5,545 pounds, the estimated maximum speed of the HE-162C was 565 miles per hour at 19,685 feet. And a parallel development is the HE-162D, which was essentially similar but featured a swept forward wing. There appeared to be certain advantages to be gained by sweeping the wing surfaces forward towards the tips, the critical Mach number being similar to that for an equal angle of sweep back, but the tip stall's tendency being removed and thus permitting higher taper ratios in both plan form and thickness. The wing of the HE-162D had an overall span of 23 feet 7.5 inches and a gross area of 124. 858 square feet. Both the HE-162 C and D were seen as target defense interceptors, and it was proposed to equip these fighters with a pair of 30 millimeter MK-103 cannon on a special mounting enable them to be tilted upwards at a fine angle from the horizontal. Although this installation was not tested, it was a variation on the Siraj music which enabled the guns to be fired while the fighter underflew the target. The fuel tankage is 314 gallons. HE-162 with impulse duct. There were two proposals for fitting Argus impulse ducts to the HE-162. One provides for two AS-014 units, each developing 780 pounds of static thrust, and the other for a single AS-044 unit of 1,100 pounds thrust. HE-178 Research Aircraft This was the first turbojet aircraft to fly. 27th of August, 1939. It was not intended to have any military application and was fitted with an early type of Heinkel turbojet, HES-36, giving a thrust of 880 to 1100 pounds, mounted in the fuselage, with an intake in the nose the undercarriage retracted into the fuselage sides. Heinkel P-1076 This aircraft is a single-seat fighter with a Daimler-Benz DB603N engine in the nose, driving a contra-rotating propeller. The wing, which has a span of 36.1 feet, has the leading edge swept slightly forward. This arrangement has evidently been adopted for convenience in design and not for aerodynamic reasons. There are two guns, probably MK-103, in the wing just outside of the propeller arc. I didn't cover the Heinkel 219 B, C, and D models because for one thing I couldn't find a single drawing of the 219 D model 
and very few of the B and C models. This aircraft was a high altitude night fighter and the British didn't bother bombing at high altitudes by that phase of the war. The B and C models were still waiting for Junkers 222 engines when the war ended. The present tense has been used for convenience in the following contexts. However, this does not mean that an aircraft is in existence or that one was ever built.